This is Shanika Richards. A triple jump. We've just seen Abargan take the lead. Others have to respond at the end. Oh, it's a decent attempt by the Jamaican, but she'll be pretty pleased with her competition tonight. As, uh, as ever, they would have all expected Ibarguen to take the win. Well, Orgy next, go Katura Orgy. Second round effort for her. Open with 14-19, and that's not bad at all. So... Again, good on the board. Big first phase, small middle phase. Looked like she stabbed at it a little bit, frankly. But she's the fourth place in the Rio Olympic Games. So brilliant on the board, Orgy there. 14 meters 53. She's got a slight following win. It's business time for Ibarguen. Just two more jumps we said. 40 45, our best so far. Ah, here we go. Now, you could see there the blue mark of the lead. The world lead is the red mark. And she takes a bow. She's an incredible competitor. Round four now for Bobea. The attack is Bobea of Cuba. Get there. Nice speed, good rhythm. Big first phase, great second phase, and a super third phase into the sand. And that is big from Pavea, the 23-year-old. Not that familiar a sight on the Diamond League circuit in past seasons. Represented Cuba in a major international championship to the senior. senior. She jumped over 15 metres this year, 15.06, leads the world rankings. First time against the Bargwen this season. Would love to get off to a decent start. So languid, but wow, that's good. First phase, it's almost like she's not really carrying any speed to it. A shake of the head, but that's not bad at all. Just uh, her in the second round. The Ibar Gwen, who of course has been generally unchallenged in recent seasons, apart from Rojas of Venezuela. Expecting to win here tonight. She opened with 14.57, but in the fifth round, goes out to a big one. Well, despite a bouncy runway, which gave several athletes problems, the distances were very impressive. In third place was Shanika Ricketts of Jamaica, the Comrade Silver Medalist, who left it late, but went close to her season's best in the sixth and final round with a 14.67 effort, a distance only she and three others have reached this year. With the Jamaican title recently to her name, her place at the Doha World Championships is assured. In second was Cuba's Leah Dagmis Povea, whose fourth round 14 meters 71 was the best bar of the efforts of one special rival. Like Ricketts, the 23-year-old has her national title secured and Doha guaranteed. The winner, however, fittingly perhaps, was Venezuela's reigning world indoor and outdoor champion, Yulimar Rojas. The six foot three Olympic silver medalist could have, uh, uh, could have won with her round three, 14.96. Triple jump right in front of our commentary position was uh, an enthralling competition. Here in that third place was uh, Katura Ochi. Going out to 14.72, adding just a centimetre to her previous lifetime best for the American. Second place, the Yagdamis uh, Povia from Cuba. This was a first round effort. It was 14.75. Very much the story in this competition. She's a real character, isn't she? Yuli Massa Rojas from Venezuela, who jumped out to 15-11 to win the Pan Am Games title. Well, here she was at it again. Deceptively strong, deceptively far. Another 15-meter jump. 15.05, absolutely inch perfect on the board. 15.05, just six centimeters shy of her own world's best. And that puts her into the top 20 all time. And that was enough to win here in Paris. 15.05, another victory for Yulimar Rojas from Venezuela. An enthralling women's triple jump. And the scene was set in round one. Pavia, the 23-year-old Cuban, went out to 14.49.
right at the beginning of the competition. That would remain her best though, was good enough for third place, holding off the recent US champ, Katura Orji. Now, Yulamel Rojas of Venezuela has been in record form recently, twice over 15 meters, and after a decent 1460 opener, looked that it might stay that way again tonight, but she lost the lead, and it wasn't until the sixth round she finally improved to 1474. Thought that might be good enough, but it wasn't. There was one jump left. Shanika Ricketts of Jamaica, in the form of her life, last jump of the competition, produced a huge leap of 14 metres and 93, adding 15 centimetres to her previous best, which she set recently at the Pan Am Games in Peru. It's the first time she's beaten Rojas since August 2017, and is inching ever closer to the magical 15 metre mark. Excellent competition, but what a win for Ricketts. What an improvement, what a season she's having. Perfect on the board, by contrast to Rojas, on whose last attempt she was 20 centimetres off the board. Rojas having all sorts of problems again with a run-up tonight, which is a really contrast to the sort of form she's been in just recently. But the story was not about the Venezuelan tonight, it was about Ricketts. And how happy was she 